Hello and welcome to part 2 of video 6 of our course on mobile data collection using the Kobo toolbox. My name is Wilfred Ngwa for the EpiGuider channel. In our last video, I shared out a link to the short questionnaire which has both a GPS question and an image question. 13 people responded so far. I would like to say a very big thank you to them as we will be using the information they provided in covering the topics in this video. This video covers two main topics. First, we will look at how to map, export and share GPS data. GPS stands for Global Positioning System, which is basically a satellite navigation system used to determine the ground position of an object. In this section, therefore, we will be looking at how to map, export, and share the data on the location provided in the questionnaire by our friends. I have added a location for our friends who did not manage to indicate a location in the questionnaire. Secondly, we will look at how to download photos and other media. Without any further ado, let's get started. Your project may include one or more GPS questions. Kobo Toolbox will include the GPS data, that is, the latitude, longitude, altitude, and precision in the data set which can be downloaded as an XLS or CSV file as we saw in part one of this video. It is possible to view your GPS data on an online map in Kobo or to download the points as a KML or CSV file for use in other applications. KML stands for Keyhole Markup Language, while CSV stands for Comma Separated Values. Both of them are simply five formats that can be read by map software programs and other programs as well. To view or map your GPS coordinates on an online map in Kobo, click on the map section found within the data tab. Here we have our map. When viewing your data on the Kobo online map, you can disintegrate your view by question responses, such as displaying respondents by country. Let's now exploit some features on the map view in Kobo. Settings. This feature permits you to upload data overlays and choose marker color schemes. Let's make some sense out of this. I want a map of all our friends who filled in this questionnaire from Cameroon. With a KML file downloaded from a website such as the Humanitarian Data Exchange website and saved on your computer, you can overlay this data with a map of Cameroon. Click on Settings. Give your layer a name. I will call this Cameroon. Click on Upload. Browse to where you have the KML saved on your computer. Select it and click on Open. As you can see, the layer on Cameroon is displayed and you can now close to view your map. The next feature is Toggle Layers. Toggle Layers toggles you through multiple map background options. Let us click through the different options to see how they behave. Notice that our newly added layer Cameroon is also found here and can be toggled on or off as well. Toggle full screen displays a full screen mode. Show data as points displays your data as points and is the default display for your GPS data. Show data as heat map. Display your data as a heat map. A heat map is a graphical representation of data where values are depicted by colors. Although you can create a simple and beautiful map like we just did in Kobo, it is difficult if not impossible to download a Kobo Collect online map for use in your projects and presentations. You can, however, obtain an image of your map in Kobo by using a screen capture software such as the Sniping tool. 
This again comes with a limitation as it lacks the many attributes that come with an adapted GIS software. As such, you can export your GIS data as a KML or CSV file and have either of these exports imported into an adapted GIS software such as QGIS. Let me demonstrate this using QGIS. You can watch my video series on how to perform spatial analysis of data using QGIS and Synergit if you'd like to learn more about QGIS. The link is shared in the comments section. To view or download images in Kobo, click on the gallery section on the data tab. This allows you to view the images which you can click on to open in a separate tab in your browser. You can right click on the image and select save image as to save the image to your computer. Notice that no identification is attached to the image and thus we can say who uploaded this image. We can go to our data table section and click on edit to attach an identity to an image. In which case we see that this image was uploaded by Ismaila Karimu. The big question is, Will you be able to do this for many records? If your form includes an image, video, or audio recording question, these files will be uploaded to the server along with other data. To download your media files, choose the zip option under the download section. A few moments ago, we raised a concern on how to attach an identification to a media file, especially when they are many. Let me walk you through on how to solve this in a step-by-step -step manner. Download your data as an XLS file and open the file in Excel. Identify the column that contains the file names of your media files. Insert a new column next to the one that contains the file names of your media files. Enter one of the following formulas displayed on the screen based on the server in which your Kobo account is hosted. Mine is hosted in the Kobo Toolbox server. In the formula, replace username with your own username and A2 with a cell reference that contains the file name of your image or media files. Then copy the formula down for all your records. You can click on each of the links to open the media file. Not this will only work if you are signed in to your user account in the default browser. You can share a map, media, or entire project with others. Go to your project settings and click on sharing. Kobo generates a public link which you can share with anyone. With the shared link, users can view your data, that is, map, table, or file download format. They won't be able, however, to edit anything. You can as well give edit permissions to a particular user. After this, you can send the URL. We are at the end of this video. I have shared some useful links in the comment section below. Next week, we will be rounding up our series on Kobo Connect. Stay tuned and bye for now.